Okay guys, so uh, we got a bit of a, a banger today. Uh, this, this is a really quick match. Uh, and I always like giving uh, giving you guys these matches or is actually watching live. It was a, it's a pretty small gym, but like, so this bout started, it was like 3-3. Three, three, and the gym's about a square. So I literally just walked around the gym to get a closer view. And like by the time I got there, the match was basically done. Uh, this is a fast match. So here you've got Borel, especially back in 2020, he really liked to impose himself. And without much regards to the consequences of what is happening around him. So he, he really likes for himself. And then Park, who likes to create, didn't get that many chances. So you just end up having two people with their own ways of fencing that are absolutely just completely clashing against each other. You get a world champion, an Olympic champion, both are very active, very strong, very fit. And let's see how fast this goes. All right, let's start. Right away, right? Just one, two, three, go, pick an action, get your hit. Where I gets kind of just caught a little bit not ready. So right there, you see it. He instantly just pushes back. Not to be, uh, he really doesn't want to be, be caught being passive. All right, a lot of pushback. What I actually did kind of like about this was um, he pushes, but it's not only attacking. As I and he pushes and then there's a bit of a, a little retreat there. So I do I do like that um, He gives himself a little way out, but overall this is a train And then park just does not and this was like really close I think he, yeah, he it looks like so he, oh my god. Just starts, one, two, just misses, gets the remise. So, I don't know why it wouldn't be good. So right, uh, right there, you can tell he just doesn't want to be bullied. So he just goes in right away. Like a lot of like, they're basically just playing rock, paper, scissors for the next minute. Ah, so, so this is a back turn. This is a full back turn. It's... He gets a yellow. Oh my God, and the point is given. Right, and referee, there's tough calls, but like, look at how Park just takes it. There's not much you can do, right? You've been had, uh, and that's good. And honestly, good on the ref for just giving it. Uh, thank your ref. I'm basically just making a shout out to the ref. This is a Canadian ref, Dimitri. Uh, refing is a very thankless job, and it is very much needed. So as much as I may be a hypocrite, because I like to argue with refs all the time, uh, you know, be nice to your refs, or at least uh, if you see them outside, say hi, what have you. It's very hard, especially in Epe. The one time, right? Because in Epe, there's a lot fewer decisions to be made. The one time they'll be wrong, they'll never stop hearing about it. So trust me, they know. Borel goes in. He, he's still pushing. And I really like this. So the the pressure to force out an attack, and nice and easy. Remember, pressuring doesn't mean we're attacking. So how did that? 
goes. Ah, okay. So Boral goes in low hand, thinking that there is going to be a bit more to this. Yeah, he tries to grab bait, but Park just snipes top. If I recall, this is like the point where Borel just absolutely... Like, he never really sees his end of the piece. This is the part where he really just does not stop going. As I say that, he backs up and gets hit. But this is a nice one. And lo look at the lead up, right? Park has... He's got it, right? He leaves one prep that can turn into a lot of things. Check it out. Right, one... Unless they're hitting the hand, nothing, right? But it starts off with that high hand. That way, the next time Borel reacts, he sweeps it in. So by pinching your fingers, right, you're both taking eight and you're disengaging. Doesn't matter. So overall, just a good prep that can open three doors. Not bad. All right, so this went so fast, the, the camera is barely moving. But in an effort to gain kind of, you know, gain a bit of control, he just goes in. Look how strong this man is. And the camera, like whoever's on the camera, because uh, the, the World Cups usually have a person uh, following on the cameras. And then he just powers through. So one of his biggest strengths, well, biggest strengths, he, he's huge. He's a big, strong guy. And once this guy sets in on the target, good luck. And more so right now, like, Park just can't prepare. You've got this guy rushing at you, and how do you beat that, right? This guy is clearly not going to back up. He's not going to let you play. How do you beat that, right? You just tip in your face. Now you can't back up anymore, so you have no wiggle room. Right, every time something happens, right, he he even tries the eight, but then right as soon now it's just too late. Nope, too bad. Very hard to fence against. Then you're wondering, oh, why are they like having such a fast bout? Well, Borel is dictating that the bout's going to be fast. That was sick. Nice. So this is a big part of pressure that uh, is really hard to grasp, right? Because when you're pushing. You're very focused on attacking, but at the same time, a lot of us, my present company included, you forget that you're creating a bit of a void, right? You're pushing, but you can still use that to draw people in. Pressure does not mean you have to attack. And a lot of times, even as I'm saying it, oh, that's obvious. But then as soon as you start fencing, like your brain just leaks out your ears and you're done. So this is something I, I learned really fast, um, especially like once you get video, you're really hype, right? You just want to do video. But what's funny is at first, uh, first time I called video, I was like, I want video. And depending on who you are, I, I don't have the stature of Borel where we'll just go look. You actually have to tell the ref why you want him to look, which uh, I found interesting. So if you don't necessarily know the rules, like you just got to say, well, I think the sky is falling or something. Like you got to give a reason as to why they show should video and then obviously you want to keep it respectful but it looks like it was boom no hit and I accidentally reset also I think one of them just park just missed like park just does not want to be at the back of the strip now but Borel, like, Borel's just longer here, right? Same, boom. It's a Borel difference. Park does not want to be the victim. Oh my god, this is actually so clean, though. See, look, look at it. 
as like this was borderline premeditated. Look at how he just locks in. Boom. The fact that we're all doubles is uh, actually quite impressive. Same one. Uh, uh. So actually, right while we, while while you can credit, uh, you can credit Borel for his absolutely stellar offense. So far, the the triple threat, three points have been pressure, counterattack, pressure, counterattack. So don't count that out. But see, so here's my issue here, right? Once Boral is up two, you can't really attack him, right? Which is where something now in the most recent Doha tournament, uh, a lot of people are crediting him because his counterattacks were so strong. And I, I would try, uh, Obri was pretty, probably just like ran a number on him. But right, a guy like that, once he's up, there's no way he should keep forcing unnecessary attacks, which I think is where the biggest difference came. Right, he's no longer just rushing. A lot of it is you get your lead and then I wait it out. I, you cannot break me, and I will not like you know I will not break mentally. Right, to me in this in this search circumstance, like up to at this point, I think all Burrell has to do is manage. Like Park cannot find any holes. But that being said, against a Korean, do you really want to take him to? to a nine minute uh, showdown, right? It might've been part of the plan. Maybe Borel didn't want to take uh, Park to uh, that to that full nine minutes because Park will move up and down the strips. We've seen his footwork. Check out his Instagram. He's got uh, some of the best footwork in the biz. Oh, this is sick. So sh uh. Okay, so th this happens really fast, but see how he shows six. That instantly gets Borel's mind on a parry. Instantly hesitates, but he's actually driving. Boom. Very nice. Right, show one thing, finish with the opposite. Why does that work? See, like, so it's, to me, this is just, you go on guard, and then as soon as the bout starts, he's not, like, not quite ready. Man, these two are just rushing. That was really clean. So again, that same high hand feint, but finishes with a little opposition and a duck, obviously. Right. So this is basically like you can't give. You can't give a guy like Borel that backwardsness. You need to be like very strong in your, even your posture, just your intentions. They need to be very forward. Like that. Right, stop, like stop him. Obviously, you got the blade, but the intention was forward after.
just hits it first, right? So there we have it. Clock runtime, two minutes, 10 seconds. We've seen longer saber bouts, folks. Uh, so what happened here, right? So you got a guy like, and my obviously like this is all hindsight stuff, right? I, I see the bout and I, you know, I, I'm not Borel in top eight. I'm not Park. Like a guy like Borel, once he's up, he doesn't need to gamble as much, right? He needs to manage that bout with all his attributes being an absolute mammoth of a fencer. You can't pass him. Like a lot of the onus there was on Park to go create and not uh, like not be the victim to all these things. Uh, he was always on the back foot, honestly, even in some of his uh, in, in, in a lot of his hits. A, a lot of them felt like, right, I just don't want to be pushed. So I'm going to attack. And then Boral wasn't ready from the get-go. Uh, and then you'll see. Uh, go watch the guitar final. Uh, watch Borel all day. It's a way more controlled version. Like, those counterattacks. Oh, my God. Like, the man is a beast. There's no way a guy with that physical stature shouldn't be able to manage about and just keep it. But obviously, like, live and learn. Uh, obviously, and Borel, I mean, this top eight, right? It's not even Scott fan. Uh, he had a lot of success, right, with a, a very purely aggressive style. Once people kind of figured it out, he had a bit of a slump. But uh, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, well, have a good one. Uh, enjoy this uh, speedy... Speedy, speedy uh, review, and uh, have yourself a good time, guys. Bye.